Wu will fall before my might. If I might make a suggestion. You mean this? <coughs> Prime Minister? It's nothing. Prepare to move. Ha! The enemy has begun to move! Finally! Ju Ye Liang, I've been waiting for this. Battles are not won by strength alone. To win without fighting is the ultimate plan. I can't believe I was unable to repay Lu Bei's trust. This would be a difficult place to defend. Please help us! Bandits are destroying our village! There is nothing to fear. I shall handle the bandits. Stop this foolish resistance. Leave, or you will surely feel the consequences. Do you think I would allow you near my lord? Kao Kao's army, though massive, is but rabble. There is no need to fear. I shall depart. I leave the rest to you. We shall conjure a southern wind. Eastern wind! Jake Leon, he's a devil! The wind is here! Exactly as we had planned. We shall attack! Are you actually asking me to attack my own family? You must obtain Shu, or you cannot stand against Wu and Wei. What? But that is against all propriety. If you do not, Cow Cow will surely prevail. Neither propriety nor justice are served. Still, to secure the future of the land, you must fight. <laughs> Zhang Wei, isn't this land perfect? It is dangerous. We will lose our path of retreat if we camp on the mountain. Well now, will Ma Su be capable of success? We have finally come this far. Yes, though it was for the benefit of the land, I have involved far, far too many innocent people. But it was solely for this very moment. Oh, my beloved people, lend me your strength! Sima Yi, you will not defeat me. If you cannot fight, then retreat. Did you think that I'd respond to all of your taunts? My lord, I was unable to fulfill your dream. I beg your forgiveness. Strength is but one aspect of power. 
I believe I have bought enough time. It appears I have met my destiny. I would like to agree. But to fight Cow Cow and restore the Han Dynasty, we will need a well-devised strategy. This is your third visit. I am honored, my lord. Master Liang, does this mean you will join us? Yes. As your strategist, I will guide you to destiny. Is the renowned strategist a coward? Impressive, Zhang Ren. I yield for now. There is no magic here. I know the southeast wind will blow on this day. He bends even the will of nature. Hero of chaos indeed. It all depends on the strength and resolve of our soldiers now. Is... is that...? Zhang Wei, suppose I offer you all of the knowledge I have at my disposal. I can no longer return to Wei. I shall do as you ask. Lord Liu Bei's destiny draws near, very near. Leaving? Is this not our final showdown with Cao Cao? If so, what else is there to do but prepare for battle? Indeed. You are correct, my wife. The enemy that stands before us, Cow Cow. We will have to move heaven and earth if we are to defeat him. Even my death cannot impede our march. Onward, to our Lord's glory. What? Zhu Ge Liang lives? Retreat, it's a trap. This withdrawal is part of my plan. Very well. On this third visit, allow me to receive you. The land must be divided in three. You will take one third. Divide it? Into three? Eventually, the other two-thirds shall be yours. And like today, you will knock three times on the gates to the heavens. Yue Ying, I do not expect this to be easy, but it is important that you do not fail. You need not worry. I promise to carry out your plan, just as you have ordered. The time is now. Master Liu Bei, first of all, allow these flames to light your path. The road ahead will be long, but the destination is certain. My lord, 
You must escape. Never! I will not leave my people here! <laughs> it was my hope that I would hear such words from you. Now is the time. Our strategy now will open the path to a better tomorrow. Ah, the wind. Now the time has come. We shall lay our hopes on this wind and have it carry them to the enemy. During the assault on Fun Castle, the Wu army surrounded General Guan Yu and... It can't be. Guan Yu... Bring me my sword at once! Everyone! Begin preparing for war! No, my lord! Our enemy is Wei! It would not be just to attack Defeat Wu! Defeat Wei, and Wu will have no choice other than to surrender. Please reconsider. None of that matters to me now. Neither of you understand my pain. I must do it for the death of my brother. Who must pay? Everyone, advance. Fight as one to protect this land. Wise and talented leader, Jiang Wei. Shu is not here for this territory. I am here for you. Die! Stand down, Wei Yan. He is worth far more to us alive. Do not jeopardize the future of Shu with your blade. <clears throat> so, you defeated my strategy after all. It appears I was right about you, from the very start. Right about me? Ah, if only you hadn't been a servant of my enemy. I would have taught you everything that I know. Those eyes like a window to your soul. At last, I have found you. Jiang Wei, I wish to pass all of my knowledge unto you. Am I worthy of such an honor? Understood, sir. From this day forward, I devote my life to Xu. Off, intruder! This here's private property! Mine! I'm only gonna say this once! My people will never submit to you! It is not your submission that we seek. I have a proposition for you, great king of the South. Would you join us in creating a grand, new empire? Chen Kang Castle. It is certainly well defended. However, that alone is no reason to back away in fear.
Even a heavy shield will crack beneath a heavier weapon. Jiang Wei, strategy is not a simple tool that one can use whenever he likes. With the right timing, you can change even the flow of a mighty river. That is the mark of a superior tactician. Once you're out of the way, taking Chen Kang will be no trouble at all. This is it. Here at Wu Zhang. Our long-standing battle with Wei shall come to an end. It's just as I foretold. However, the road getting here was even more difficult than I had imagined. Prime Minister! Let us go. The time has come for us to unite the land. O oh, great and mighty heavens, I, Zhuge Liang, pray to you with all my heart. Though I die, may Shu continue to thrive without me. What? Zhuge Liang is back? Ah, Zhang Wei. Do you really think you can replace your master? Halt the advance! Withdraw for now, and rebuild the camp! In this chaos, there is one thing that I have learned. Strength and intellect, husband and wife, all in this world is made up of opposites. I am grateful, Yue Ying. I am truly blessed to have you here with me, at my side. Our destiny, it lies ahead of us. Let us go. Together. The land is united at last. No. The land was always as one. It was man who has been divided.
Yes, I understand. I, Zhuge Liang, wish to help. I will do all that is in my power to help you create your vision. You have my gratitude. However, you must know that yours will not be an easy path. What awaits you is years of wandering and waiting, of carefully laid plans and strategies. In the difficulties that you will face, you must always remember your purpose and never sway from your path. I will not sway. What will bring about your vision in the end is not my strategies, but your heart and how true you will stay. There are a great number, but that will not benefit us in a fight. Most of them will only be in the way. However, there are more than I ever would have expected. These people have given their trust to our Lord. I had not imagined what an encouraging sight that could be. Look at them all. I'll shoulder the burden of their trust to create a better world for them to live in. Now I see. This is a task that I shall find satisfaction in accomplishing. Soon say. We made an error. Maybe we should have tried to defeat Cao Cao back then. His fleet of ships. If they are not bluffing, then they have an exceptionally large force. Lord Zhou Yu's decision was not incorrect, I believe. I think it is possible we may win. Zhuge Liang, tell us your plan. For Wu and for Master Liu Bei, one thing can give them each their victory. Just one. Each victorious? Each? Does it really matter, Zhou Yu? If there's one path, we'll take it! <laughs> when you get that look on your face, it's hard to imagine losing. Then let us go. Let this great river burst forth with the waves of our wisdom. My lord, we are now at the start. We have allied with Wu and stand opposed to Cao Cao. From this point on, I shall make use of all my skills so that we may remove all uncertainty from your dream and make it reality. Yes, I will depend on you. We can have no success without your helping us. Then the time has come. You must begin to head to the west. West? My lord will not find his victory at Qi Bi. I have already sent Master Zhang Fei and Master Zhao Yun to grasp the victory that awaits my lord in the west. An excellent plan. Then I will travel west. I shall take my leave. My lord, do not ever let yourself Forget your true purpose. My lord, Liu Bei's forces have attacked and taken Cao Cao's position throughout Jing province. What's that? Zhuge Liang, is this what you meant by giving each their victory? This is our victory. Liu Bei has a land from which we can grow until we conquer Yi in the west. To stay in Jing is the only thing possible. I understand what you mean. I suppose you deserve some credit for this plan. I will let you go in peace. Of course, with Cao Cao gone, there isn't really anyone else. Yes, there is no one left to fight except each other until we meet again. Goodbye, Zhou Yu. Yes. There is only one that I must fight. You, Master Zhuge Liang. Just you. You have arrived. Now. We will meet with our lord first, then on to Zhang. We go to Zhang province then. 
During the battle at Qi Bi, we took the province of Jing. Jiang is now in our possession. All this is a stepping stone, so that we might gain control over Yi province. Now I see. Quite clever. We need to grow in strength, and Yi is where we can do it. But to do it with such guile... Even guile is of use. Conventional fighting will not achieve our Lord's goals. I tell you, I have difficulty understanding Master Liu Bei at times. I wish a few of those big brutes surrounding him would knock some sense into his head. I understand. But nonetheless... I know, I know. That is why they all follow him. I do feel for you, though, Zhuge Liang. Thanks to his gentle nature, your strategies look especially cruel. I do not care. I will do all that I can. I do not seek a reward. It is for Liu Bei to be loved, not me. Yes, you are right. That is true. Then let us do what is necessary to create the path for that gentleman, and help him change this harsh world of ours. Right, Zhuge Liang? I feel sorry about Master Yu Zhang, but it's good Chengdu has finally fallen. I thank you. I know there would have been no victory without you, were it not for your loyalty. I don't know how I would be able to go on. No one's here because they want to follow the name of Liu. I know we are here for only one reason, and that is the vision that you've shown us all. You are our lord regardless of what name you bear. It is your vision that holds us to you. I shall not lose my pride in my name. However, no more will I be prisoner to it. From now on, I shall fight only as myself. Together, we'll put an end to the chaos. The love the people have for my lord, the legend of King Liu Bang and Hang Zhang, who ascended the throne. When these are combined as one, we'll soon see the results in Hanzhong, where the people and all their hopes will then turn to the land of Shu. I am worried. In what way? Aren't you pushing things too quickly? I mean, our attack on Master Liu Zhang, and now this attempt to link me in the minds of the people with Liu Bang, those who do not know you, are starting to say that when it comes to the Han, you are the traitor. And I can't bear knowing I'm the cause of that. I have nothing to prove to others. It is enough for me that my lord honors me with his total trust. In a world full of chaos, it cannot be an easy path. Let me bear the brunt of the world's disfavor, and not you. It is you who must be loved by the people. So, hey, how's the planning and strategizing and all that coming along? Fine. The only enemy that remains for us is Cao Cao. We need only cross these peaks of Hanjiang and we... I can't stand you. You're cold as ice, aren't you? You don't care about real people. Han Zhong's your only concern. Well, it was thanks to you. 
that Brother Yu was killed. I know it's not your fault. People die in war. But do you have to be so cold and calculating just to take this stupid land? I believe our Lord will serve all of the land well. I will do whatever is asked of me. Just as you must do, using your great strength. I don't need anybody to tell me that! Listen! We're going to take this land. Nobody's going to give up the fight. And you, don't screw up. The land shall belong to our Lord Liu Bei. And that is the strategy we will follow. But my lord, what will be of even greater importance than strategy will be my lord's spirit, as well as those of all the soldiers who will be fighting in the battle today. Ah. Today is the day when all the ambitions of Cao Cao come to an end. And the day when this long age of chaos will be brought to a close. <coughs> Not now. Not now. I can control the fate of this great army, but not my own body. Just a bit more. Just a little bit more. It's not for much longer. Then I can go when we've won. Cao Cao would provide a path, introduce strong principles and nurture everyone's talents and abilities. It's a vision that could please the people. Ha! Huh. He's nothing but hot air. Even without the guy's leadership, the people can learn to grow without anyone's help. Right. That is correct. By working together, they can teach themselves the proper path. And yet, it assumes that they know what to do. But nothing is certain. But giving them hope and guidance is Brother Bay's task. That's why we're here, isn't it? To help him? I fear we have no choice but a battle. Cao Cao. Neither of us will bend, so one must break. Friends, let this be the final battle that our poor land must face. We must grasp victory. Through our strength, the battle will be won! Ah! Now we have our victory. And it's all thanks to you. I wanted to tell you that... Forgive me... for what I've done. Master Guan Yu... Master Peng Tong, please forgive me. Stay! You can't leave. You can't go and die on me like this. You must live. I have no more need for your strategies, it's true. After all that you've done, you must live in the land that you helped to create. My lord. Are you sure you're strong enough to be up? Yes. It appears that it is not yet my time to visit those who have left us forever. Of course it isn't. You must not forget. You swore that you would walk by my side in the new land. It's getting warm. Do you not smell the scent of the blossoms? Yes. Spring is almost here. I would like for us to welcome it together. Look outside. Do you see the wonderful peach garden? 
It was there that my brothers and I swore our oath. This is your third visit. What is it that you want so badly from me? I wish to benefit from your wisdom. Tell me what must be done. I know what I want to do. I want to ease the people's suffering. But... But you save one person and it just brings suffering to another. What should I do? <laughs> Benevolence is a tricky thing. Benevolence means Valuing the feelings of the people over efficiency or profit. Tao Tao's way. Is to seize control of the land through brute force. While your path Lord Liu Bei. leads the people to a land of benevolence. Your path is that of a true leader of men. But to make it more than just a dream, you must have the courage to unite the land. I fear I am incapable. My lord, if you truly want to make it happen. Then listen, for I can help you. You're going nowhere. Lord Huang Gai. Please, I ask that you leave the pursuit of Cao Cao to us. But... why? We have already put a plan into place. One guy! What happened? Well, I'm sorry, but he got away. But Zhuge Liang... He was here? Just what is that man up to? I couldn't kill Cao Cao. I just couldn't. I know. I had already taken that fact into consideration. With this, the stage is now set for Lord Liu Bei's rise to power. It is time to walk a path fraught with great danger. If we can secure Chengdu, Yi province will be ours. Lord Liu Bei will finally have a country of his own. And with the land divided in three, then I bring news. Lord Zhang Fei has gone to Lord Liu Bei's aid. Our troops await your orders. Very well. All forces, advance. It is clear that you were not great enough to rule in this time of strife. And Liu Bei? He is great enough? A 
a benevolent ruler. With Chengdu in his hands, that is what Lord Liu Bei has become. He runs away fast, I'll say that much! Cao Cao is gone, I see. He said something about being a decoy! Just a bad loser! I hope you are right. Maybe. Lord Guan Yu. Forgive me. I wanted... A land of benevolence, like we had talked about. But I allowed my grief to consume me, and it cost men their lives. Your mistakes are due to your benevolence. You have supported me until the very last, my friend. My son, Liu Shan, he must take over when I am gone. But if he proves inadequate, then I want you to lead Shu. But my lord, indeed you are the one who has shown true benevolence until the very end. My lord. You must complete the task I have left unfulfilled. Ah, my brothers, my friends. I'm sorry I took so long. Now, we go. your troops before, then you may well have been the victor here today. No man with a heart could ever do such a thing. It seems you too are a man who knows the spirit of benevolence. Benevolence? Pillaging of the people is unacceptable. The injured must be tended to, even the enemy. 
We are the inheritors of my father's dream of benevolence. We must take pride in that. I must lay the groundwork for certain victory here today. ahead, and beyond that the capital of Wei, Luoyang. With Wu's help we'll destroy Wei, and realize our Lord's dream. <laughs> the road to that goal is long and steep yet. My Lord? But still, I have faith. I see the spirit of benevolence of Lord Liu Bei. I see it in you, Jiang Wei. And I see hope for the next generation. You mustn't speak as if your time is done. We will do this together. Hmm. I... Hope so. So you are he, the famous sleeping dragon. I am... Yes, I know of you, Master Liu Bei. I feel I have been led to this land in order to meet with you. Please, would you consider lending your strength to my endeavors? Very well. Then, my lord, I must ask that you proceed through this age of chaos as a man of benevolence. Benevolence? Yes. Benevolence is the true form of your intent. The light that spreads your brilliance across the land. Are you sure this is what you want? Yes. It is not me whom he needs at this time. Show him the path of benevolence, my lord. And lead him through the dangers of war. You are the only one who can do that. I wish I could be like you, you know? But it is simply beyond me. Where will you go? Where, you ask? To 
find a place for myself. He is in your hands now. So you are Master Zhuge Liang, the famed strategist. Master Zhou Yu, all is as I outlined in the scroll I sent you. Oh, so formal. We are to talk of fighting together. We must be more open. Isn't that right, my lord? <laughs> exactly right, Lu Su. I read your scroll. A proposal that will certainly be of benefit to both yourselves and to us. Blunt Cao Cao's momentum and buy us some time. Advantageous to us all. But that is not the entire story. Unlike Wu, Master Liu Bei lacks a land which he can call his own. Perhaps obtaining such a foothold is your true goal. Come now. We cannot expect all secrets to be shared. Can we not turn a blind eye? Well, this alliance would certainly be good for Wu. The battle shall take place at Chirbi. We shall use our intellect and courage to sink Cao Cao's great fleet. Zhou Yu is a perceptive man. I wonder how much he sees of the truth behind this alliance. But for now, this is the only path we can take. We must claim victory here first, before all else. These flames shall be the beacons to light your way. We must move on, my lord. The next battle has already begun. What? You're leaving already? My apologies, my lady. I am sure we shall meet again. according to plan. But my lord, the next step I fear will be the hardest for you to take. Jing province has been taken by Master Guan Yu. Yes, I know. I could hear it, his victory cry. Brave children, where, where is your father? Father said to tell you that he was sorry. <laughs> no, Guan Yu. My Lord. Not now. Please. Zhang Da of Zhang Fei's forces has turned on us! 
He and his men have slain Master Zhang Fei and joined with Wu! No. Not Zhang Fei. Uh, uh. Wu has shown us their true colors. My lord. My lady, forgive me. I fear this will be hard on you. Yet, I no longer have any choice. We must defeat Wu and Wei and rule this land. That is how I shall honor my fallen brothers. Leon, I leave it all to you. The people of Shu, our dreams of a land of benevolence. My beautiful wife, I am so sorry for the pain I have caused you. Strange here. Setting up their forces at Lu Ko. It's almost as though they are expecting us. The commander at Lu Ko is Lu Su. This battle will be merely one part of his grand design. All of you, approach this battle with due care. Impressive. You are as good as I had heard. Your youngsters have proven themselves too. This battle. What was its intent, Lu Su? Well, I wanted to prove your strength. To my fellows in Wu, of course. Opinions vary, even within Wu. Some are scared of Shu and call for your defeat. However, for the sake of our Lord's ambitions, we need to reform our alliance. And yet, at Fon Castle, Wu would have been rent asunder. We had no other choice. With this defeat, I shall be able to persuade the others in Wu. What do you say? Do we have a deal? Very well. We too would welcome an alliance between Shu and Wu. <clears throat> Jiao 
Ryum. Have no fear. I shall defeat him. No. I want him alive. <laughs> As you wish. Is that understood? That man, we must capture him alive. Why do you toy with me? You seek to shame me further? Do it! Kill me! My apologies. <sighs> but this was the only way I could talk with you. Young man, I wish for you to join us. I greatly desire the aid of your intellect. I finally understand our strategist's intent. Indeed, you have displayed exemplary courage. I too ask that you fight alongside us. Silence! You ensnare me and now talk of standing together? I... I am an officer of way! Your fellow officers have run off without you. <sighs> we have distressed you, for which we apologize. Lead me to your camp. I will follow. <sighs> Chancellor. This defeat has damaged the Northern Campaign. The fault lies entirely with me. I am the one who put you in charge. If the fault lies with anyone, it is with me. No! Good work must be rewarded and failure punished. Chancellor, please make your just pronouncement. My lord. During this battle, we defeated Zhang He. That was only possible because he was so fixated on Ma Su. Which means that was thanks to Ma Su. If anything, he should probably be rewarded. Sophistry, nothing more. But it would be benevolent. Don't you agree, Chancellor? Everything rests on this battle. For the sake of those lives lost in battle, and for those lives yet to be born, Benevolence will end this age of war. <coughs> Chancellor! <coughs> I am fine. Come, let us begin. I am relying very much 
upon the strength of the next generation. You can have this battle, but victory is mine. What? Can you walk it? The path to rule with no guide. <sighs> hmm? No! Chancellor, we have to go on without you? <sighs> Master Liu Bei, allow me to ask you one thing. Amongst this chaos, tell me what do you fight for? I want a world without tears. A world without sadness. I've come this far wanting that, yet not doing anything to achieve it. My thoughts run ahead, but I can't see the path that I must take. Master Zhuge Liang, please, show me my one true path. The only path I can show you is the one that might lead to heartbreak at times. Faced with that and with suffering, can you move forward without turning aside? If it leads to the world that I want. I can see how much this means to you. Then? I, Zhugo Lian, will give my life to help you achieve your desire, Master Liu Bei. <sighs> How I envy you, Liang. I can only wish that I had been allowed to be a strategist for Shu and aided in this endeavor. In honor of the occasion, there is something that I would like to say to everyone. In doing your work, I ask that you listen to others' opinions and learn to consider them fully, even if they differ from your own personal opinions. You each have pride in your own abilities. This can make listening difficult, I understand. To the best of my knowledge, the only one who could unfailingly do that was Shu Shu, my old friend, an example to us all. Ah, there's just no end to this. You're saying you will return Jean province to us? Jean was left to Liu Bei by the former master Liu Biao. It makes absolutely no sense to argue about returning it. Mm. Jugo Lian, I thought that given the chance we could work well together. And that is why. There is not a lot of benefit to Wu if your allies are homeless wanderers. Hmm. Master Liu Bei needs his own land. To do that, he cannot lose Jean at this time. Hmm. Well then, until that time, we'll lend you Jean province in the four districts.
Where do you think you are going? Hmm? Oh, yes. Looks like you found me. There's something bothering me about the path of our march. I need to look at it. That horse. Master Liu Bei lent it to me. With Hexmark, I can get back here quickly. All right, I'll be seeing you. Are you sure? Do you really want me as the one for that position? It was your plan that gave us victory this time. It is only right. And... I have already talked to Lord Leo Bay about it. <laughs> it doesn't seem like... You're doing this to get something from me. You are always so disgustingly rational. I merely decided that poison might be of use in order to realize Lord Leo Bay's dream. Your lack of morals will be a very powerful weapon on the battlefield. Normally, such a person would have no place with my lord, though. <laughs> the only bleeding heart we need is Master Leo Bay. Unfortunately, our goals appear to be the same. I will fight alongside of you until Master Leo Bay's dreams fulfilled. Right. Then it is decided. Now, let's discuss our next battle, shall we? Master Liabe? The two of them have come. Ah, oh, Lady Sheng Sheng. Sorry. I must have passed out for a time. Zhuge Liang. Zhao Yun. Soon, I will go be with my brothers. Master Liu Bei, you just can't give up like that. It's my body. I can tell. I will leave Shu to the two of you. Zhuge Liang. If my child will not see reason, then follow the path of virtue. Then you must lead Shu. Master Liu Chan will be a worthy successor for you. I'm sure of it. I just had a vision. A vision of a day where my brothers, all of us, are riding somewhere together. I'm surrounded by such wonderful companions. Yes, how blessed I am. We will always be with you, my brother. Together, brother, we'll create a world of compassion. <coughs> <coughs> Master Liu Bei. <coughs> Master Liu Bei! Lord Liu Bei! <sighs> Maybe it was. All just a dream. Thanks to all of you, my life has been truly complete. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for coming, Master Zhuge Liang. 
The situation is, I have been asked to discuss something with you. And you are. Your strategy at Yielding was great. No, thank you, but there's still a great deal for me to learn. That may be, but isn't this a little overdone? You have gathered all these troops just for me? Right now, in our eyes, you are a far greater enemy than Cao Wei. This talk is merely an extension of that. Given that, we are merely taking a few precautions. Certainly. In the battle with Sun Wu, we lost a great number of people. Starting with Lord Liu Bei. We will never forget the grief and the regret. However, even with that, there are things that must be said. You are talking about an alliance between our clans. Yes. It will change nothing between Sun Wu and Shu Han. My land is split in three parts. The late Zhou Yu's land in two parts. Both of those were specifically designed to stop Zhao Wei. Now is the time to return to that strategy once again. Together, our houses must join to defeat Zhao Wei. And then, after that... Then we will settle things. Not in some discussion. It will be settled on the battlefield. Understood. I shall tell my lord. I shall explain the benefits of a temporary alliance with Xu. We must fight together to put an end to this lawless chaos. Call strategy, Master Meng Huo. What? So you're saying I lost to a man who used his head? Is that what you're saying? Well then, why don't you go ahead and finish us off? You could have done that at any time, am I right? <laughs> because that is not really what we were after. You kings of the South were merely being misled and controlled by Master Sao Destroying you as an enemy would go against everything that my former Lord Liu Bei stood for. I can't say I really understand what you mean, but I guess now I owe you one. How you choose to respond is entirely up to you. So, please go now. And you, what are you called? I am the Prime Minister, Zhugo Liang of Shu. I won't forget that name. Next time you'll see! I am astonished. You managed to evade all of my well-laid plans. Of course! I am the Great King! But I must know, why are you so driven to attack? Were you that angry about the attack that we mounted the other day? We 
must attack the North. To do so, we must first befriend the South. Great King, Master Meng Huo, I have come to be your friend and ally. What's that? You want to be friends, so you come at me fighting? <laughs> if I was just some pathetic weakling that perhaps could not fight at all, you would never consider calling me a friend. <laughs> That's true. I have to admit you're right. <sighs> but you're strong. I'm not talking about your arms. Or your head. I'm in your heart. <laughs> Come to think of it, you all have that same good look about you. All right. We of the South and you of Shu are family from this moment on. This should be fun. Huh, brother? <laughs> <laughs> And that is all that I, Zhugo Leon, desired to say before advancing our campaign north. <sighs> Master Zhao Yun, forgive me. Master Zhuge Liang's words made me remember days long past. That's right. You, father, and everyone fought together. Long before I was even aware of anything that was going on. That's incredible! You wandered, and you fought. As a result, you were able to establish Shu. Liu Bei! I, Liu Bei, will your dream fulfill! I would like to thank each and every one of you. I also would like to fulfill my father's dream. However, is there no path that does not involve fighting? But if there is an enemy, shouldn't we defeat them? The chaos has lasted too long. Let us end it once and for all. Let us defeat Zhao Wei! Defeat Zhao Wei! I do understand how you all feel. I pray for your success in this battle. Master Liu Bei, we are on our way. An attack under the cover of night. With a handful of elite fighters, if it doesn't work, we will lose. But it will be very dangerous for all those who go. And that's why I need to have you do this for me, Master Guanxin. If only Jean Bao were still alive. I understand. I'll wait here for you. But you have to come home again. Ah, uh, I promise. Are you sure about this? Yes. Please. As you command. 
Leave it to me, Master. Prime Minister, you called for me? Yes. This is? Jianwei. I entrust you with absolutely everything that I am. Prime Minister, what are you saying? I brought about a land in three parts. But I expect that I will be gone way before. We can bring that land back together. Times are changing. We must gain an advantage before the memory of the benevolent world that Lord Leo Bey dreamt of fades away. <coughs> oh, I understand. Now, please leave me. Lord Leobe, let us go together. <laughs> <laughs>